Imagine a world where a single injection of insulin could help control your blood sugar levels for an entire week. This isn't just a futuristic dream, but a reality brought to life by a recent study reported in the New England Journal of Medicine, as scientists continue the century-long journey to build a better insulin. This year, we marked the 100th anniversary since the discovery of insulin. A significant milestone indeed, given how insulin has extended and improved the quality of life for countless people living with diabetes. However, the battle against diabetes, a disease that affects an estimated 37.3 million persons in the United States and 537 million globally, is far from over. The numbers are alarming, but what's even more notable is that fewer than 50% of persons who would benefit from insulin therapy receive it. Why? The reasons are manifold and complex, including the high cost of insulin, the stigma of diabetes, and fear of hypoglycemia, among others. These barriers not only affect individual lives, but also contribute to the unsustainable global healthcare costs. So, how can we overcome these challenges? Enter ICODEC, a once-weekly insulin. Researchers have conducted various studies to explore its potential. In a 78-week trial involving patients with type 2 diabetes, the researchers found that ICODEC was significantly more effective in lowering glycated hemoglobin levels than its daily counterpart, Glargine U100. This suggests that ICODEC could potentially simplify insulin dosing and improve medication persistence. But what does this mean for people living with diabetes? While this innovation won't solve all the barriers to insulin use, it could be a significant tool to reduce patient and provider therapeutic inertia. A simpler, safer, and more adjustable weekly insulin injection could be a game changer for many. But to safely integrate this into clinical practice, it is crucial to establish guidelines for patient-directed dose adjustments to achieve timely glycemic control. However, even with these advancements, we still face an undeniable challenge, the stigma attached to insulin use. Many patients and providers see the need for insulin as a sign of failure, but this perspective needs to change. Insulin is not a sign of failure, but a powerful tool in controlling blood glucose levels. As we celebrate the progress made in the last century, we must also acknowledge the work that lies ahead. Innovations like ICODEC are milestones on the journey to build a better insulin, but they also amplify the need to address disparities in diabetes risk and access to care. And let's not forget the cost of progress. As more advanced diabetes-related medications and technologies emerge, it's essential to ensure they are accessible to all who need them. So as we reflect on the past, let's also look to the future. Isn't it time to build a better insulin? change the conversation around diabetes, and ensure equitable access to these life-enhancing innovations? Stay tuned for our next episode, where we will continue to keep you updated on the newest medical news and research. But if you can't wait until then, and you're eager to dive deep into the world of medicine, head straight to medschool.com, your go-to source for interactive medical education. We've got you covered on YouTube as well, with fun and informative medical education videos that'll keep you hooked. And don't forget to follow us on social media for some laughs and behind-the-scenes goodness. And until the next one, keep your curiosity piqued and your stethoscope close.